just first of all, I want to just really uh, congratulate our team and uh, um, how tough they are and how, how much they fight and how hard they play. Um, we knew we were going to play 60 minutes here, and, and we did. It wasn't pretty all the time, but uh, the grit that our guys showed was was tremendous. Uh, so proud of our staff. I just feel like our guys just work so hard together. The staff loves each other, enjoys each other. Our players love each other and enjoy each other. It's a special, special group of guys. And uh, that's why I just feel I feel thankful and blessed to be the head coach here and have this opportunity. Um, I know it was a historic win for us in a lot of ways. Um, I'll, I'll let Jeff K. go always update me on how big it really was, but I know it's a big deal uh, to come here and win um, and uh, to be able to get that sixth win, which was never our goal. It was still not. You talked to our players. They ever talked about that. Um, they actually had bigger goals than that. That's the bare minimum. But uh, I did. I know it's a big deal because it hasn't happened that that frequently. But but that was never our goal. So um, I just gotta give our guys a ton of credit for for fighting. And our defense struggled at times. I uh, got some key takeaways. I got that huge fourth down stop that was that was big. And then our offense just continues to be highly effective. Uh, Peyton Ramsey would kind of say, you know, just absolute stud. Um, tough, gritty, got that key first down with his legs, takes some shots, um, just finds a way to you know, win games. And, and uh, But that's just who we are. C.B. Scott got some huge yards at the end. You know, we were taking what they were giving us, and, and uh, we threw the ball pretty effectively, but uh, ran the ball well when we needed to. So, But uh, at the same time, um, just can't say enough, you know, to God be the glory. Questions? Coach, you've been through a lot of, a few of these big games. you talk talked about it in the post. How does it feel? Well, you know, I'm tired. I, I got really tired of standing in front of you all and talking about how close we are and being disappointed and trying to figure out how I'm going to, you know, spin it in the right way when I know I was just torn up on the inside. So it feels pretty stinking good to stand here and answer your questions after a big-time road win for the Hoosiers. So you know, I don't really even care what anybody else thinks. This is awesome. This is big. Uh, this means a whole lot to our program. It changes a lot of things with our guys. Um, this team believes. This team is finding ways to win. And this team has a lot of character. So uh, we got a few characters as well, but uh, we love them all the same. Just got to keep teaching, keep growing, keep getting better, and uh, best is yet to come. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I tell you what, just uh, a ton of credit goes that offensive line. We even shuffled them up again today, kind of an unexpected thing with Simon not going, and uh, didn't didn't think didn't know that was going to happen. But uh, man, uh, McKenzie stepped in there and did his job, man. And uh, you know, we lost Coy, and uh, he continues to be a tremendous leader. Uh, so that group has really been. Um, the mainstay of why I think we're doing what we're doing because you still got you have to run the football at critical times and there at the end you can't throw the ball um, there's just a whole different kind of psyche you have towards those last few minutes of the game and to be able to get those key first downs and with either Peyton's legs or Stevie's legs and and uh, just the ball security that, that, that Stevie has and just the coaching that Coach Hart gives them so yeah I mean it's just uh, really neat to, this this week the, the the offense got a chance to close it out and uh, it's a pretty good feeling, though, when you know you get that last first down and all you got to do is start kneeling. I mean, that's, I've been on the other end of it, but like, well, the, the one last week, you know, where you're just, I mean, it's one play can, you know, and your heart's just like beating out of your chest. And so I actually got to enjoy the last minute of this one pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice. And so, um, but yeah, this is a pretty, pretty uh, awesome place to play. I've never been here before, never been to Lincoln, never coached here, never played here, nothing. So uh, it was uh, Awesome crowd, I mean, they're so stinking loud. So, uh, but uh, yeah, it was it's a pretty special night. Hey, coach, you've been talking about um, stacking your Yeah, well, you know, I break. We had, breakthrough has a lot of different layers and it has a lot of different meanings, but uh, this constitutes breakthrough. You know, this is there's no question. Um, you know, we uh, 
Um, and I know I took some heat when I came out with that a few years ago, and, and I believe with my whole heart that we were going to break through year one. I really did. And uh, we were obviously close, but we didn't. I really believe that year two, we were close, and we didn't. And, uh, but I didn't quit believing. Uh, that's where grit came in, and that became our one word for this year. And, and uh, sometimes I catch some heat for one words, but those were powerful things, you know. So I really don't care what anybody thinks about our one words, okay. And so those things, those, they unite us. It gives us tremendous focus. It gives us purpose. It gives us things that we have to have as a team to do the things we have to do. And uh, this is... Uh, you know, we play in a tough division now. I mean, we do. And we play a lot of good football teams. And it's tough. I mean, the history is what it is. But we're making changes here. And that's what we're selling to recruits. And the bottom line is, is you know, eventually you have to start doing it on the field. I get that. I'm not, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I was born at night, but not last night, you know. And so the bottom line is, is that you have to show evidence on the field that the breakthrough is actually coming. And it's actually going to happen. And to me, I'm going to get on the phone here. I'm going to call some recruits myself tonight. I'm going to tell them, did you watch the game? Do you see what we're doing at Indiana? Everything I told you we're doing, what we're going to do, we're doing. We're a young football team. We are. And this was, a, this was not a pretty game. I mean, we, there's a lot of things. We'll go back, and I'll watch it on the plane ride, and I'll be mad about certain things. And, and, uh, but uh, uh, we'll get... We learned from it. We had a couple. We had two. I thought really dumb mistakes, dumb penalties that, that cannot happen. And um, but there's some youth there that has to just, you know, we got to keep teaching. Just like your children, you know, you don't, you know, you discipline them and you teach them. You know, that's part of you know, parenting and coaching are one and the same. They really are. A lot of the same principles with how you get the same results. So, but yeah, this is a huge thing for us. But it's gonna, you know, be something we got to build off of. We got to take the momentum and keep rolling. And and uh, but yeah, it's about. Um, building something special and yeah i mean it is a process anybody doesn't understand that doesn't understand you know where we're coming from and what we're doing and all you gotta do is look at this football team and uh see how we play what you see from, uh, from preparing for the game from nebraska's past defense that you could exploit and what changed throughout the game what did you guys do to be so productive well you know we, we felt like we really knew running was going to be hard based on their alignments, their mass, and the strength of their defense. So, um, you know, we kind of, if you notice, we didn't really just ram our heads into the ball to try and force it. You know, we still continue to run the ball. But uh, we felt there were things we could take advantage of in the past game, and they proved to be true. But you still got to execute. You got to make those catches. And we, we, we had some really, even that one to tie fry fold, I mean, what a catch. I mean, on a critical situation, just going up and, and just making tough catches. And Peyton Hendershot had a huge catch you know, for a two-point. But so, so that, you know, we, you, you do a good job in the pass game, but you got to, our line's got to block. They're going to bring pressure. We got a young old line still. I mean, Matt Bedford's a true for I me. Mean, that's, you guys are hard as to play, play left tackle in this conference as a true freshman. And, uh, it's, it's just, and he's not even been a seasoned O lineman. He's, you know, he's just really, really, really raw in a lot of ways. So, but all those variables come into play, and then obviously we talked about Peyton. But, but yeah, we felt like we could throw the football, and uh, and uh, we were able to. But then when, as the game comes, you got to adjust, and they do different things, and they start bringing different coverages and pressures, and you got to adapt. But I, Coach DeBoer does a phenomenal job. He sees it. He's up in the box. He just kind of takes what they give us, and our guys believe in what we're doing, and uh, they execute it very, very well again today. Really? Yeah, I didn't realize all that, but I do know that he, uh, but I'm going to tell you this, okay? Sometimes the very thing, this is the life principle, the very thing that makes you special is sometimes the very thing that can be what can hurt you, right? So, is, you know, he's not a very big guy. He plays with a ton of energy and a ton of swagger. And, and I mean, sometimes you just got to like, you know, I wish I had a muscle, okay? He needs a muscle sometimes, you know, but that energy is what causes him to make plays. Okay, so you got to learn it. You got to teach him, and I got to grow. Like if you noticed during that when when he had that penalty, I was with him, and I kept holding him. I would not go let him get away till I got eye to eye. Yes, sir. The response I knew I needed to have, and I wasn't gonna let go of him. Okay, and, and because he and I have a strong relationship. Okay, and he was he was hot. I mean, he was. They're, but they're doing this, and they're saying this, and they're coming. I don't. I said I don't care what they call you. I don't care about that. So you just have to keep teaching. But that makes him special. I mean, he's an energy, he just has so much energy, and he's just, I mean, you should have heard him before the game. I was just kind of like, just relax, because he was so determined to come here and prove, because some, some things were said before, you know, about Indiana, you know, and us playing Nebraska, and the, the, could you look at the history, and it's like, they're just not the same, okay? They're just not the same, and so, but our guy took that personal, and he was one of them, I mean, he was the leader of the band of all that, and, but at the same time, I got to kind of like, temper that little sucker, because he can just get a little bit too much, 
you know? But once again, that's what makes him who he is. So I just got to get a channel all that energy in the right direction. But that's, that's part of my job. That's how I teach him to become the man I believe he's created to be. They did trick plays. I mean, it was just like tempo within the trick plays. I'm just like, I mean, I was kind of trying to, by the time trying to figure out what happened to the last play, they did another one, you know, and so they kind of got us on our heels, you know, and that's, that's tough, you know, and, and so I was frustrated. King was frustrated. We're all frustrated. And, uh, but I, I know they were trying to get that energy going fast. They're trying, we knew, I knew they had to do that to try and get some momentum going. And, and I just said, guys, weather the storm. Weather the storm, and then let's just go play football. And so that's kind of, and I'll watch the film and see, you know, how we did on all that. But, yeah, it was a, it was a tough start for us. It, not the way you want to start on the road. Well, going forward, you've got four games left. But you're 6-2, yeah. you've got back-to-back wins, back-to-back Big Ten wins, back-to-back road wins, mm-hmm. and a lot left to play for. But what does this win today do for the rest of the season? Well, you know, a couple things. You know, it continues to build confidence and momentum in what we're doing. You know, I mean, it just validates all the things that you keep. Because, you know, you keep, because my whole thing is is that I try to rephrase things a certain way it's to a point, but you, you, you don't just change what I believe in. So the same things I've been telling them two years ago and last year, you know, you don't want it to get stale, you know. So when you see the results, just like I said last week, for the defense to be on the field, to be the reason why we win the game was huge. The offense to finish it out this week, and the defense also getting us key stop when we had to have it, those build confidence. They do. And it just, uh, it makes you practice different. It makes you feel different. And uh, I think it, you just, you, you play different, you know. And so, but you got to live it. You got to experience it. You can't just talk about it. So I just think these are big, and, you know, I'm not going to worry about the other ones. I'm going to worry about, well, first of all, I'm going to enjoy this one tonight, okay? But once that's over, then all we're going to focus on is Northwestern. That's it. I don't care about nothing else. Focus on Northwestern. They're coming to town. I want a huge, huge crowd for this football team. These kids have fought and fought and fought and fought, and I want, these, I want our fans to come and support this football team. I get it. I understand, okay? And I understand the frustration of the past, but I don't care. Okay? I haven't been here very long, all right? All I know is what we're doing right now, and come support this football team and help these guys do something special. And that's all I can ask, because these kids are going to play hard. We I mean, won't play perfect, but we're going to play really hard, and we're going to play for 60 minutes, and we're going to find a way to sink and win the football game. And that's what these kids are, that, that, that belief is just growing and growing.